Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, it's nice and sorry it's bright in here, it's very warm outside, don't ask me why. We're supposed to be in winter. Today I'm actually making pastrami. So, I've got about 4 litres of water or a gallon for you Americans. I've got about... Uh, it's about 2.7 kilos of brisket. Uh, I think that's about just under, just over five pounds. I'm not too sure. I've got a teaspoon of mustard seeds, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, two tablespoon, two teaspoons of coriander, a cinnamon stick, um, a tablespoon, a uh, teaspoon of allspice. Um, four cloves, well, don't drop them, 90 grams of brown sugar, 50 grams of the Cure 1, 350 grams of salt, 5 garlic cloves virtually just roughly chopped, and about 60 grams of Australian honey or normal honey, whatever you guys have. Um, now I'm just going to throw all this stuff in the pot, bring it to the boil and wait till everything's dissolved. Then I'm going to shove the brisket in there, put a plate on top of it and stick it in the fridge. But I'm going to wait till it comes to room temperature before I do that because I'll cook the meat. And then I'm going to leave it in there, in there for three days. One, two, three, three or four days. I'm not too sure what the recipe is. Um, I'll have a look when I get off off here. I think it's three days, but then I'll come back after all that's done and I'll show you where I'm at after the three days. So I'll see you then, but yeah, hopefully this is the first time I'm actually making it. So hope I don't fuck it up because the brisket did cost me a lot of money. All right, I'll see you then. Okay, it's all cooled down now. I got my brisket, as you can see, and I'm just gonna put him in. Hopefully it doesn't overflow. Sit him on top. I've got a plate. Sit it in and submerge it in so it sits down over the top. I might put the lid on it and put it in the fridge, but I'm going to leave it in there for three days, maybe three and a half. Pull it out, put a pellicle on it, and smoke it. So that's really about it. I'll see you in about three days once it's all done. Okay, it's been about three days, I think, and. Ugh. This is what I've got. I'm going to take it out the pot and I'm going to dry it off with tea towels. Yes, they're clean, don't worry. And I'm going to rub it with some seasoning, and which is coriander, black pepper, mustard seeds, and paprika. I'm going to stick it on this big wire here and stick it back in the fridge for 24 hours. Tomorrow I'll smoke it. I'll just come back after I rinse it with the brine, discard it and throw it out. You don't need it. Um, and I'll just, I'll set up the camera and I'll show you what I'm doing with it. Okay, so as you can see, I've got it all here. I'm just going to very liberally sprinkle it on every single bit of the brisket. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to turn her over. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to let this sit in the fridge outside for another 24 hours. And then I'll be back to smoke it tomorrow. Um, and I'll show you the finished product. I'm smoking it at about 250 for about, till it hits about a 160, 170 Fahrenheit. And I'll smoke it with applewood and I'll show you the end. I'm going to make some rye bread too tomorrow. So that'll be done with it. So other than that, thanks guys. I'll see you then. So guys, there's the end product. Don't know what that was. As you can see, it's nice and pink. Tastes nice. I'm going to let it rest. I'm going to make some sandwiches. And I'll put some pictures up of the sandwiches. I'm not going to put sauerkraut on them because I don't eat it. Um, I've got some Thousand Island and some sourdough rye, and that's really about it. It took me about five hours at a, to 180, and it was about 200 to 250 smoking time, and it's got applewood, so 
other than that, <coughs> I shall see you in the next one. Not sure what I'm going to make. I'm going to let this rest. And I shall eat it. So I'll see you then, guys.